Hey, how's it going guys? Jacker D. Almighty here. Today I'm down at the river and we're gonna be looking for some more river treasure. Check it out. I got my swim fins and camera gear with me. I haven't looked for river treasure in about two months. The water got super cold. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to last in the water. It is freezing, you guys. I might be able to last maybe like an hour, but I'm gonna try my very best to find some cool stuff to share with you guys in today's video. Hey, drop a thumbs up if you guys wanna see another river treasure hunting video this weekend. I'll make a deal with you guys. If we can break over 10,000 likes on this video, I'll do another one for you guys this weekend. 10,000 likes, man. It's a lot of likes, but it is absolutely freezing cold. To be honest with you guys, I don't even know if I want to get back in that water. It is too cold, man. I got a lot of comments asking me to do another river treasure hunting video, but without any music. So I'm going to give it a try. Let me know if you guys like this. And if not, we'll pick it up maybe next time with some music, all right? Thank <laughs> you. 
I wasn't out here swimming for too long just because it was really cold, but I ended up finding some cool stuff. Let's check it out. Like I said, I wasn't out here for too long, but I ended up finding a couple nice things. That pistol, man, was one of a kind find. Like, it's almost as good as finding a GoPro. It's really cool to find something like that in a river. I cannot believe I found a real pistol, man. This is most definitely a murder weapon. Like, why else would it be in a river? I don't know what to do with it. Should I turn it into the police station? I, don't, I honestly have no idea what to do with this. But other than that, we found a couple nice lures. I found most of these lures at cut bait. There's probably so many more lures out there, I just haven't had a chance to really look at all the spots I need to look at just because it's so cold. We got three nice lures right here. Check these out, man. These are solid. They're all like green, kind of chartreuse looking. We got a lipless crankbait right here. Like most of these lures I find are hung up on walls, but nice lipless crankbait. I'll probably reuse this one right here. I got another nice crankbait right here. I'm digging the color on this, man. This is going to be really good for stripe season. I'm going to have to change the hooks out on this, but yeah, look at that. There's only one hook right there. <laughs> but uh, I might be able to reuse this one too. This is a little square bill. It still has some uh, cloth or string or something from the wall that I snatched it from. Pretty cool. What in the world was this guy thinking, man? So this is a black and blue jig with a fluke on it. I always find a whole bunch of flukes down at the river, but what in the world is this combination, man? You know what, he actually might have lost his lure on a huge fish, but uh, definitely a different kind of setup here that I've never seen before. This is half of a swim bait, so whatever broke this off, had to be a monster. I've never seen a spoon like this before. This is definitely one of a kind. So there's like another little blade right here too. Red and gold. I've actually never caught a fish on a spoon before, but I might have to give this one a try in the future. I found most of these sinkers over there at Cutbait and it's notorious for catfishing. I mean, the name of it is Cutbait, you know, like they cut fish and they throw it out there and this is the sinkers they use. So I might give these back out to some of those fishermen over there. Or I might remelt them. Like I don't really catfish, but I can give these out to some of those guys if I wanted to. Like, look at this. This poor guy was using a spark plug for a sinker. So there's definitely people that can use these sinkers. Who in the world has enough spark plugs to think about even using these as sinkers? I don't even know. But I find these all the time. Cool story behind this. I actually lost this lure a couple weeks ago, and I found it. It's my underspin with a Kytec swim bait. This is actually like my go-to lure. I love this lure. This is a typical lure you'll find here. Uh, this is actually the jig head I normally use during striped bass season. I'd rather go with a wider fluke, but this is like a silver one. All right, we're getting over here to the greasy looking lures now, the nasty ones. These ones have been in the water for a long time. Like, look at this. That's just disgusting, dude. That's been on the wall for a decent amount of time. It's starting to have like mold or something on it. Got a couple more like that too. Here's a little paddle tail one. This one's broken off right here. Look at this, man. That is so nasty. That was probably a fluke at one point. I found this pretty cool spinner bait, but there's no hook on it. It rusted off. I don't think I'm going to be able to reuse this. It's definitely seen better days, but pretty nice spinner bait, man. I don't find too many of these out here. I found this tennis ball. Definitely not the greatest find of the day. So the best find of the day has to definitely go to the pistol. There's probably some really cool story behind this. Like, why else would the person throw this in a river? Let me know what you think the story behind this pistol is. I guarantee there's something cool about it, man. You know, I'm actually gonna have to turn this into the police station because what if this gun was like a smoking gun to a murder case or something? And then like, they figured out who murdered someone just because, you know, I found the gun in a river. Like, how cool would that be? That would be a story of a lifetime, man. You know what? I'm actually gonna call the police. I was gonna go to the police station, but it's getting late and I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. All right, I'll get someone out there, okay? Thank you, appreciate it, have a good day. You too, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so we have a police officer on our way over here. Nice to meet you. All right, here you go, buddy. Sweet. So what do you guys think about yeah, that, man? I'm not gonna get any prints off of it, I can tell you that. You think it'd be any use for you guys? Because we're gonna run the serial number. Yeah. We'll run the serial number, find out if the gun's been stolen or something, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. Well, thanks for your help, guys. Thanks no for problem. coming down. Appreciate you calling. Appreciate it. Me. Be careful out here. I will. So I'd rather keep the gun, but it is what it is. You know, I decided I think it'd be best to give the gun to the cops. Maybe they can use it. But pretty cool, man. Found a gun. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. We are closing in on 600,000 subscribers. That's just insane, man. Thank you guys so much. You definitely have changed my life this year.